this is from someone who works on an airline. So the question is, I'm a cabin crew member. How do I observe my fast during the holy month of Ramadan while traveling to places in the West which require long hours of flying? Uh, on a summary, we say that for a traveler, and more so if you're talking about if you're working as a crew member, whereby you know that so I will be traveling a lot during the month of Ramadan. If I'm going to take the concession every time I fly, that's going to be a lot of this that I'm going to miss throughout the month of Ramadan. So if you feel that, yes, that I want to complete my fast, yes, please do so. Now, the only thing that you need to understand is that as a person who is on air while you are on an aeroplane, we know that as Muslims, our fast starts from the break of dawn and it ends until sunset. Now, the thing is that when you are on an aeroplane, you need to ensure that you do not break your fast until the sun sets. And when you are on an aeroplane, the sun sets later or you can see the sun for a longer time than someone who is on the ground. So that is something that you need to take into account. In other words, it means that when you are on an aeroplane, before you break your fast, you will need to look out the window. Can I still see the sun? If I can still see the sun and the sun is setting, then it means that you still need to continue with your fast. Even if the total number of hours that you have fasted is about, say for example, 17 hours, 18 hours. But if you decide that, yes, I want to continue my fast, you need to make sure that the sun has set before you break your fast.